welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today, the topic is called How is Career Advancement Related to、um, Lifelong Learning? <laughs> So for all the suggestion and advices, put me through the link for the discussion session below, as I will give you all the insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. Okay, let's get back to the topic. So many adults likes to attend、uh, going to class, and、uh, doing the subject that they have never thought about previously. They like to、uh, want they want to graduate from the college. And to meet their own goals, rather than like to seek the job opportunities, the study was and research was done by Swartz and Swanton in 1995. I'll tell you why I like the past researchers because the past researchers give you an insight of your、um, experience and your knowledge and where are、uh, the experience came from. Why is it? Why your experiences? Are, why is it like that? Why is it? You know,、uh, certain profession has um、uh, is a success successful and certain profession not successful, and also it give me ins like insights into um the source of the、uh, the elements, the terms that they use, uh now it even nowadays, uh throughout the twenty first century, and so that we can improve in the terms, particular terms or elements that they have invented from the past. And、uh, let us to have more insights in, into what they really want、uh, this society to be, and this is the reason why I like past researchers. Okay, now so much for that. Um, for subscribe, you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the button, so you will not miss anything because I bring you new ingredient, new insights, and new topic every Monday and Thursday. One thing I found that a lot of you come into my channel and uh, browse, uh, sus- uh, listen, and、uh, without subscribing it. So by hitting the button and subscribe to my channel, you will help my channel to grow and help my dream to become a、uh, big YouTube. <laughs> This is、um, the dream, and also help me to、uh, in my journey to monetize my YouTube channel and、uh, help me to have a.、Um, Direction for my、um, journey of、um, being a、uh, adult education ingredients、uh, creators. Okay, thank you very much,、uh, guys. Now we can get back to the topic again. No, Swartz and Swanton suggest that career advancement is not a、uh, strong motivator, but、uh, it's a strong motivator, but not necessarily a, a main. Motivator for lifelong learning. So lifelong learning enables actually children, student to check into the academic academic system, and are constantly seeking the、uh, knowledge to fulfill their dreams as a lifelong learner. So as I said, lifelong learner is a requirement. It is not a choice. Every adults have to be in a lifelong learning in order to survive in the society. I'll tell you the reason why. Down、uh, later in the later in the、um, topic, so、um, the individuals because they because they have the lifelong learning, adopting lifelong learning, and they will remain、um, uh, an ongoing productive members of the society,、uh, especially in the situations in the workforce, constant changing in the workforce, and because、um, they are adopting lifelong learning, that's why, so. Lifelong learning actually have the following characteristic. I'll tell you what are the characteristic. Okay, number one, lifelong learning will be a requirement. It is not a choice. Lifelong number two, lifelong learning enable a workforce that is well educated to become flexible and able to cope with the constant changing of the society and the world. Number three, individual skills in the lifelong learning workforce are definable. And regarding competencies, they can move、uh, quickly assess whether their skills and learning apply to the job requirements of the organization. Number four, 
Lifelong learning increases mobility, which increases the need to grant credit of all studies and ensure that uh, the credits are transferable. Okay, transferable. Number five, lifelong learning helps to bring about the diverse and multicultural society of, of the 21st century because the prerequisite is learning. So if you like, uh, it, there, there's a videos for lifelong learning which I made quite a while ago. You can find the link from the above. And if you like the contents, of course, uh, remember, remember to put your thumbs up and share it with a friend. And also I want to tell you something, you can click through the um, reading uh, the, the books in the, my description section below and click and buy some book to read. I think reading is really good for all of us because reading and produce a character of endurance and calm and also heighten your self-image as well. Why? Because when you read, you are by yourself and you know, even though you are distant by um, other people and then when you come back again you can start reading again and after all this reading you can um, ground it and you get so much knowledge that you become a firm person but you have to do it consistently throughout the time not one night one night will not produce um, yourself to become an endurance or consistent person you no need to do it consistently over the time years and years it will help you, it will really help you uh, to become a grounded person and um, it will help you to gain insights into about your profession, why certain issues or certain problems happen like that and uh, especially for adult education, it is specially catered, adult education books, they are specially catered for your profession uh, and your uh, organization and let you see insights of uh, of it. That's why I have my channel called Ingredients. These are the ingredients uh, for your profession and your organization. So read the book. The book will tell you what are the ingredients. Okay. And now we get back to the topic again. So uh, Swartz and Swanton suggest that uh, this is because in the 21st century, if the individuals or the learners or the students who do not practice lifelong learning, they will not work. If an organization they do not adopt, they do not use learning as a learn uh, to become a learning organization, they will not survive. If the school or the colleges or universities, if they do not put their students first, they will not recruit. Okay, this is basically what Swartz and uh, Swanton's research about. It's very important about um, improving in the society. Uh, through lifelong learning. So for lifelong learning video, you can find the search in my playlist as well. And uh, you can watch the videos. And of course, um, there will be, I think that was my very first videos will not be that good, but they should have enough information for you to catch up with what uh, lifelong learning means. That's all for me today. It is a very short topic. So, um, of course, for all awesome suggestions and advices, you can put me through the link in the description section below and I will give you awesome insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. And also, um, subscribe to my uh, channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything. Every Monday and Thursday, I bring you new insights, new ingredients and new topic. Anyway, finally, thank you very much today for tuning in. Until next time, and goodbye.